So in today's video we're going to calibrate this Shimitsu Prover XL6050 Plus from SaneSmart. So generally this CNC router runs on GRBL or Gerbil software and G-Card. Uh, I am using UGS which stands for Universal G-Code Sender. So I'm going to show you the simple apparatus then that you can use or setup that you can use to calibrate your CNC machine. So all you really need is some painter's tape actually uh, set at right angles on your table uh, and I've marked off accurately 200 millimeters from line to line uh, in the, the X and from this line back here to this line 200 millimeters so we can check the X and the Y travel for accuracy and we can alter that in the UGS profile. It's also handy to have a, a, a vernier gauge too uh, and it is very necessary to have a very pointy tool. It just makes life a little easier for you. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go and have a look at the settings within your UGS profile. So you come here to the control tab and you come down here to this bottom line and all you do is put the sign for dollar dollar and press enter. Uh, let's expand this a little. Okay. So this is what we're interested in here and moreover the ones we're really interested in and the ones that we need to adjust are the 100, 101 and 102 which these actually give the resolution or the steps per millimeter of your axes. Now this will alter from machine to machine uh, and this figure is just not quite right for ours where over a 50 millimeter distance uh, we appear to be one millimeter out. Um, so we need to alter this figure here probably in the three of them. So what I'm going to do first so we don't lose uh, these standard settings is come all the way up to here and copy everything just as normal, copy, then we're going to come down to, uh, let me see, wood pad, that'll do, and we'll come down a couple of, and paste. So we have a permanent record, and we'll save as, to let me see download I normally save it to the desktop then sort it out afterwards uh, so this is going to be uh, let me see capitals UGS and it's for the 6050 CNC so we will save that to the desktop and now we'll have a permanent record of what you know the, the readings were originally because you know we may muck something up so we're not going to do anything else with this at the moment so we're going to come back out to here and 
the first job we're going to do now is to hum the machine. Now we do that just by coming up here to the little house and press hum. <laughs> Right, so I've just set the distance per pulse or per, per, or per, per press of the uh, mouse key for the X and the Y to 200 millimeters. So it should move exactly oh, somewhere near 200 millimeters. We'll find out how far it's out. So here we go. Okay, I'll zoom in a bit to that so you can see. So, uh, let's see how many millimetres that is out. That looks like it's two millimetres out. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more light on this, I think. So that's looking like two millimeters. So we'll send it back and then we'll do the same operation in the Y direction. Okay, so here we go in the Y plus direction. And it's looking like two millimeters there too, uh, which you you know would expect because the screw thread uh, on the on the axes uh, you know are identical, um, and it's also identical on the Z as well. But we'll leave the Z till later. Uh, we'll come back. Okay, so to alter this, and you can see, also see here that um, the uh, max maximum rate of travel is 200 millimeters a minute, and the ma maximum acceleration is 300 uh, millimeters per second, uh, and this is the maximum travel of the axes X, Y and Z and you can alter all these as you feel fit uh, but to make your machine more accurate it is these numbers here the dollar one hundred dollar one hundred and one and one hundred and two are the ones that we need to alter so I'm just going to do one so I'm going to come down here in this program line and we're going to write dollar 100 equals, oh, that's plus, equals, uh, we better put a gap there, I think, equals, uh, now we're going to alter that down to 150. 150.3 zeros and press enter. Now to make sure that that has changed again you write dollar dollar press enter. And you will see 
Oh, incidentally, you do have to scroll down. <laughs> scroll down and then you'll see the alteration. Okay, because it gives you a, a not a permanent record, but uh, um, since you have started the program, it will give you a record of exactly what you have been doing in G-code format. So there's the alteration there. So now we will go to the X because this corresponds with the X um, amount of steps per millimeter. Okay, so I'll switch the camera on and uh, we'll see what difference that has made. And from the difference that is made, uh, we will be able to judge, uh, you know, which direction or the amount more or less that we need to add or subtract from that figure. Okay, here we go for the test. Well, that is clearly um, too much travel. So we need to raise that figure up. And judging by the amount that uh, the extra travel it's given us, about 20 millimeters, um, obviously we need to uh, reduce the amount by, you know, we uh, increase or decrease by. Okay, so what I've done is I've altered the steps per two 160.5 just to see uh, you know what sort of difference that makes now uh, it should be a lot closer I think so here we go oh yes that's looking extremely close actually um, we just take it back. Okay, I'm going to alter that to 160.6. And I think that'll do it. Okay, here we go. So I can tell that's a little better, but I think we can go to 160.7 actually. Let's take this back. Yeah, I'm going to go to uh, 160.7. Okay, so I've adjusted. Uh, both the X and the Y and checked it and uh, I've adjusted it all the way back up to 161 and I found that it, you needed to do a complete cycle of move over and move back and then reposition then do your test for it to actually log in correctly I don't know why but that's what happens but now it is perfect <coughs> Okay, and the Y. Absolutely perfect. So that is the setting. And because the Z is the same size screw, I'm going to set that exactly the same and uh, we'll check that as well. Okay, I've just put a piece of painter's tape 
fairly even right on the top of that piece of cast in there and I'm just going to move it down 20 millimeters and we'll check that and you can see in fact it is exactly 20 millimeters so that's that's the Z sorted out as well so that is the simple way of adjusting your accuracy of your CNC machine running GRBL or candle for that matter the process is exactly the same uh, and you don't have to alter it by much so as you can see a very small amount you know you, that you alter in the in the figure work makes all the difference uh, you know we started off we were two millimeters out uh, and just altering from um, 160 to 161 has put us bang on um, and I dare say you know if I put a DTI gauge on it I could get it within a thousandth of an inch but you know you're dealing with wood um, most of the time uh, unless you are making a pocket in aluminium to you know sort of press fit a bearing in where you need to be plus or minus half a thousandth of an inch this is as accurate as you really need to be so I hope you've enjoyed the video today if you have please press like and subscribe and for those of you who are interested in the Cavco Maker or Maker Plus program below this video there is a discount code for you and if you really like what I'm doing you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because you know there's no more revenue in uh, Google anymore and uh, it is the patrons that, you know behind the channel that support me um, allow me to make videos on these beautiful machines or even you know make my own uh, machines. Um, also plans are available for conversions that I've done and uh, you know machines that I have built all on my patron plate pages. So thank you for joining me and I hope you pop in and see one of my other videos of which there's ooh, crumbs uh, pushing on to 850 videos over two channels and uh, until the next video Spy for now.